Hello, everybody. Hello, music fans. It's again Tuesday, 5.30. And I think this time works everything perfect. And I have a new camera. See how that works. If that's better, I can come very close to you. Ah. Today is about the topic on saxophone, how to get a good sound. This is a pretty wide topic and of course I only have time for 10-15 minutes but I have time personally for you. If you want to have a saxophone lesson online please contact me. I have still some places free and I have professionals. Um, I have uh, advanced ones, I have a beginner so feel free contact me. I have a website you can check it out. I will write it later to the description. You can um, make an abonnement. You can subscribe to my channel. And I think it's here in this in this side, somewhere here. And um, what else? I have a Facebook fan page, music page. And I have a new video uploaded on YouTube just this morning. Um, I have three more sisters. And one, um, three sisters who was playing saxophone. And then one more who was singing, maybe... Um, you want to check that out. So before I'm talking too much, I want to play a little bit for you. And then um, I talk for 10, 15 minutes and show you some exercises for getting a huge, on the way, for a huge sound. Thank you very much. <laughs> Okay, because I'm in my apartment, I play a little bit softer because otherwise my neighbors are, <laughs> of course. So, well, um, when I was studying and actually all the time you're asking for yourself, is your sound fat enough? Especially for jazz, everybody wants to have a fat, huge sound and how to get that one. Um, if you are standing on a stage, and uh, you're playing seriously a concert or you want to jam then sometimes you are nervous and then what happens is that your voice getting even if you sing your voice getting like it, you have a, a, a i like in germany would say an e we have in german an e in the mouth like and the sound will be more like you know like you sing high now. So your, 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 your throat will be very tight, yeah? I make an example. I, I think now it's the German E, like Igor or like Ida or like Industrie. I, I, I think now this letter, this one letter, like A, B, C, D, like E in my, um, in my head. And then I will play it now and you will listen. Okay, this is an E. And then I show you another letter which makes your mouth much more wider. So I'm thinking an E. I was thinking an E. So now I think a, a O, like I open my mouth, okay? <laughs> That is now a O. So when I'm getting closer, because I can go now closer, don't watch my nasty, not washed mouthpiece. <laughs> so if I do an E, it, 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 it looks like... If I look up, make an O... o. The sound is much more... Um, 
open. So whenever you have a frog in your throat because you are nervous, think, oh, like, a, oh, my God. Yeah, that's a good way. Um, that happened a lot of time. I was in a master class in, in US with David Liebman, and David Liebman is a, is a king on saxophone. And I was so nervous. Uh, I didn't breathe, and I was thinking uh, e all the time. So he said, breathe, Nicole, breathe, Nicole. Okay, so I was remembering, okay, I shouldn't, I should breathe, but as well thinking about the O, make the sound like an O, especially in the higher register, if you have uh, the D, uh, D sharp, E, for example. If I'm playing this with the E, it sounds like this. If I'm thinking of a O, it sounds like this. E. O. This is another quality of the sound. The sound is much more wide. The E makes it like thin and the O makes it like more fat. So this is part of having a good sound that you are kind of equally have in every register a good fat, a good wide sound. Classical saxophone and jazz saxophone sounds completely different. And this is as well why I like so much the saxophone because uh, there is not, not really a lot of saxophones um, or not a, uh, really a lot of uh, instruments uh, sounding the same way uh, if you play a line which is more classical or more jazzy or if like in, in the ground, you know what I mean? So, but to get a nice sound on saxophone, this is another topic. This is like, um, we started like this. That's what I'm teaching always with my student is like just breathing out a lot of air. You can put a book, for example, you can lie on the floor, put a book on your belly. And then you need to breathe in. And imagine you have a bottle of water, yeah? And it's filled with air, yeah? So, for example, make these exercises. Imagine you would uh, blow me away. <sighs> okay? Do that. But stop before you lay on the ball on the floor. So let's do this practice, this exercise. One, breathe in, and that's like a wine bottle, like a carafe in in the in the up in the in the lower part and the bottom. You make like fat bowl, and then it's getting more slim, and then you get to the shoulders like. And this what comes out is very strong. You really can hear a sound if you're doing like this. Okay, it's like you, you open the water um, in the kitchen and then it's that it doesn't make then something is wrong. It makes like a straight breath, right? Stream. And this is the same thing if you're playing saxophone. So the first thing what I'm doing now is like breathing in. And then playing this sound with this attack, with this energy. Yeah, let's, I take the G for the alto saxophone, this one. Yeah, and then breathe in, out, in. Yeah, this is the thing. In and without, not holding back the, the, the air, you blow into your horn doesn't matter if classical or jazz it's a saxophone and you have a lot of air and the air can can go through the mouthpiece and through the saxophone if i'm if i'm afraid it happens that i'm doing like i'm not breathing in so really good and not really out and then it sounds like the sound comes a little bit later a little bit more um more you can hear the sound quality that you can hear it in the tone um, if you're afraid or not.
<laughs> Let's see. So I'm playing again to make the example. And if there are any saxophones right now here on the other line, I cannot see you. Um, make the exercises. Just breathe in. And not... This has to be a hurricane. Some of you are living in an apartment, as me as well. And um, we have to take care about our neighbors. Otherwise, they come, you know, knock on the door. <laughs> it would be not good. But, I mean, if you're doing it for a few seconds, nobody will kill you. And I have a bunker. So um, I can do it very loud and very strong in a bunker for hours if I want. And... Um, I'm doing it right now with you again. If you are on the other line with your saxophone, breathe in, playing the G. Okay, the next thing is your amber here. Yeah, the mouth. Some of you may be doing this during day play. Of course. And some of you are really straight. And um, I figured out if, when I'm playing the saxophone, if I'm trying to stay really like, like baton mouth, yeah, then uh, it's much better than making like this, yeah. So I'm going into the lower part of the saxophone, going back with the same sound because I don't move anything here. And um, I breathe in and put all the air out that's very important yeah not not kind of a um, stocking somehow you are now here you have your saxophone and the most important is you have fun and now it doesn't matter who listen to you right so just play no that was not good let's do it again even if I would play now soft, I can play now for you soft, but the attention is the same. Like I'm opening the water and the water is coming, not boom. Yeah. And that's always important if you play the saxophone that your mouth is stable, not like, not like chewing gum. It has to be straight and then um, just blow. It can be, but it can still be intense. Let's do it. I don't move anything, but my, my, my air is the same. Yeah? Actually, I'm not fixed right now with my saxophone because I'm sitting so it does maybe look strange if I'm doing like this or like this well um I hope I could give you some little um exercises means like the O and the air uh, use that for your exercises daily hold long notes which I do always in octaves or quints like a G D and a G or a G and a G. I rather would prefer to do the G, D, G because then you have an intonation exercises plus training of your uh, single notes. Yeah, this was it again. And um, so far, uh, I wish you a wonderful week. And uh, next week, Tuesday, same time, same spot again. And let's see what topic I have then for you. Have a good day and uh, stay healthy. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs>